205, so hello Thomas. Yo. Um, we're on our way to pick up the Alpha. Handbrake. Um, yeah, we're on the way to pick up the Alpha uh, from Auto Delta. Catch up with them. The car's been in there a while actually, so it'd be good to get it back. Of course, driving again. I've been driving the Jeep a lot recently. There's another video on that coming soon. The 205's had some work done to it, that'll be a separate video. So yeah, um, should be a good video for you. The weather is British, to say the least. It is indeed. Hope you enjoy the video, give it a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Fancy it. But yeah, enjoy. Yes, that, no. 
we're in. Hello, welcome back. What an adventure that was. Um, so we've just picked up the Alpha from, uh, from Auto Delta. Thank you to Jano at Auto Delta. Just had a good chat with him. We'll be back there soon, so stay tuned. Auto Delta. Auto Delta. I have in front of me the list of work that was done to said Alfa Romeo. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go through what the work was done, and then in a separate video, I'm going to tally up all the work that's been done, and we can do a cost. true cost of the 47 GTA. Yeah, are you um, sure? The first thing to note, the carbon air intake. Brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. New one. Thank you, Jano. Um, this is a new one. It's not my original one. Um, so, good start. Next on my list. Thomas, if you follow me. Ignore the, the wheels, because they're a bit dirty. Brand new discs and pads. Chunky. 330mm Brembo. Front. So, we're working again now. Yeah, what you, else can, we you can stop again. Oh, whilst you were there. I should mark on this side, because you'll be able to see it. What's that? Suspension. It's got can new you suspension. Can you see in there? Probably not. Can you no, you can't. Well, I think you might be able to tell when we come over here, it seems to be a slightly different uh, stance to the car. Yeah, so much lower. Um, I think before you could pretty much fit your fist in there, and now, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good now, isn't it? It does. It does. So, full suspension all round. That was a. Uh, Quite. But it's worth noting that it's not, they don't just fit the suspension and give the car back to you. Um, Auto Delta obviously fine tune and do a lot of um, a lot of work behind the wheel. So just while we're uh, chatting about suspension, it's worth noting that, yeah, it might, might have cost Oliver a fair few quid, but that's because <laughs> uh, Auto Delta don't just fit your suspension and give you car back. Um, they did some fine tuning. Um, yeah, so it's um, had tracking all round as well. It's had tracking all round and they've obviously done a fair few miles in it themselves yeah. just to make sure it's all it's all running good. Up. But it does look, oh, it looks so much better. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> so on the interior, nothing's changed. But what I have done on the gear stick there. You can't see it. On the gear stick. But uh, we've now got a short shift kit added onto the car. Personally, I found it was a bit wishy-washy, the gear shift. Previously. 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 Now know. it's not, in short. It is very short. It's a very short throw. It's very nice. What else we do? Oh. And last, but by no means least, these tyres used to be on the front of the car. These tyres are new. So now we've got Pilot Sport 4s. Are they upstairs or are these 4s? Yeah, they're just 4s. You'll be able to tell, mate. You should, should tell us. <coughs> Pilot Sport 4s. So 4s, not 4s's, but they're still very good. Um, but yes, very happy. On the drive back, one is to the curb. Classic Alpha. <laughs> yeah. Headlight gone. Oliver was following me and one slight hiccup with the car at the minute. Uh, I thought there was a motorbike behind me. Uh, <laughs> Sounds a lot. Of <laughs> but uh, yeah, one of the lights is kaput. I think it's just the uh, the bulb, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But I, I think it's probably shorted out something with the MOT and it's just popped it. You reckon? Yeah, because yeah, there was there was an issue on the MOT with one of the front headlights. How was that? Yeah. Um, so I think it was probably that, and it's probably popped it, which is unfortunate. But she looks good, doesn't she? Now she's sitting right. Happy times. Collection is done. We had some a good chat actually with Jano, didn't we, Tommy? We did, yeah. Um, in the garage after. It helps me a lot with the car. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get up to see him shortly. He's currently very busy with work. Very busy with work. So yeah, we'll go up to see him when he's not as busy, and um, he's going to show us some of his special stock, isn't he, Thomas? Special stock. Oh, and he, 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 did, he did suggest that we might be able to drive some of said special stock. And he did mention a supercharged 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3.7. 3
3.2? No, th so he's got supercharged, supercharged 3.2s and he's got the 3.7 conversions in stock currently. Uh, I believe he's selling some. So if anybody's interested in the very special, yeah. yeah, there was. Thomas is a... Nah, no. I got he hasn't got... Deep so yeah, if, you, if you're interested in special alphas, he's a man to go to. So make sure you check out their website uh, and give him a call. I think that will bring the end to the video. Um, thank you for joining us. We've got some more stuff coming your way soon from me, the Alpha. Thomas, say goodbye. Ciao. Ciao.